welcome to another video and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a trail in Minecraft. Now, um, if you don't know what a trail is, I'll get to that later. But first, I'm just going to say sorry if my voice does sound a little bit, a little bit kind of like, I don't know, it may be bored or a little bit like, I'm not sure, but my voice might sound a little bit different. That's because it is like 8 o'clock in the morning and I kind of just woke up. So, um, yeah, hopefully that can get better throughout the video. But anyway, if you don't know what I mean by trail, uh, well, I guess I, I mean, it's kind of hard to explain. Like, you leave a trail behind you. Now, some of you might think that's easy. Like, um, you, um, just, like, with a command block or something, um, you just execute the players execute me and then say i want to make a trail of armor st stand or something then i would do like below me or something now here i, I know there are like some things they're not minus one they're till minus one uh there um i'm going to just do that but i'm also um not gonna go repeat or wait no i need to um go um, invisible one. Alright, I have to do summon. I forgot summon. <laughs> uh, sum. Huh? Um. Alright, summon. Armor stand. And now we get a bunch of armor stands that I can't see. Um, now, I, you can't see them as kind of... But if we can inspect here, we can. But other than that, we can't see him. So, what I'm going to do is, well, first give this a tag. But other than that, um, what I need to do after that. So, let me give a tag of, I don't know, just S. And you'll see why. Um, and then I'm going to replace item at anything with a tag of S. Um... Uh, right, replace item entity, I always forget that part. A slot, armor head, um, a, a head, a Minecraft sea lantern or something, I mean, not sure. And then you can see that it doesn't work, and I know exactly why. These do, so now we're leaving to hang on. But these work, but the other ones don't because they don't have a tag. Uh, Alright, I have to go game rule. Command block output fault. But anyway, uh, you can see that these ones don't have it because they don't have the tag. So let me just kill at am rm equals zero. Tag equals not s. So if they don't have any tag of s and they're not near me, kill it. So I'll kill everything, including those armor stands, but these and me because I'm in a I'm in a radius minimum of zero or whatever. So um. So, uh, yeah, now you can see these are hovering. I kind of want to be on the ground. So, let's summon the armor stands. You know, let me just kill all entities, um, just like that. Uh, but basically, we need to summon more, like, 1.3 down. Oop. But, yeah, so, uh, oh, sorry. But, anyway, you can see that now, yeah, they're pretty similar. And they're falling in the ground. Now, I don't know about you, but that kind of looks interesting. Um, because they, like, fall in the ground. That's actually really cool. Uh, and so if I actually go ahead and turn this off here, you can see that now we get a trail in the ground. That, and you can't even, like, take them. Well, I don't know. But, like, I don't, I kind of want them to actually be visible on the ground. I don't quite want them to be just, like, kind of in the ground. I want to be on the ground. So I'm going to go ahead and do that, um, by giving them some no gravity because if they don't have any gravity then they won't fall because if they don't have gravity they wouldn't fall so um that looks that's pretty close i don't need to mess with the value anymore and you can even use it in flight mode flight mode that's not a word but anyway you can even i guess maybe flight mode is kind of way whatever you can use it in flight um, and where you, where you're flying and creative, it works as well, and you leave a nice little trail. Now, the only problem is, you can see just by using it a while, is the frames are dropping. If I look away, you can see the frames go back up, okay, uh, well, I, I don't know, but like, the frames are dropping, and that's because of the armor stand. So, if I actually look away here, you can see the 
things go up more, and if I look back, they are uh, dropping. So, the sea lanterns are dropping my frames. Oh no, what do we do? Well, it's pretty simple. Um, though we have to, like, decay them over time. Now, um, the, um, uh, the, uh, footstep particle, if I can get to it is this so like you can see um this is footstep particle so um we execute me okay produce and we particle a footstep uh where i am and then you just have to get some zeros on to do it right but anyway that doesn't work um wait what it doesn't even have a previous app but let me why wouldn't this work that uh, huh Okay, well, it kind of worked. You can see that you get a little bit something, and if we fly up, then we can see them, and we fly down. Yeah, it's a glitchy particle. But we actually, if we put the, the footstep, like, point one, it's a little bit floaty. A little bit floaty, you can see. Um, but the thing about these here is, you know, let me just kill all the entities. There we go, got rid of the arm stands. Uh, you can see that my trail is decaying over time so that's pretty cool that's pretty cool you can kind of tell it's decaying and then these are kind of solid because i've been here for a while but i just turned it off so well the only thing the only problem using the footstep particle is what if you still wanted the sea lanterns well uh, like the, the sea lanterns or something so you might think um teleport um, like an R, the armor stands to the footstep particle, and if an armor stand doesn't have a put, footstep particle where it is, then get rid of it. But the thing is, you can't execute footstep, uh, well, not, you can't execute any particle on that matter. You can't execute, I don't know, you can't execute the angry, you can't, you know, you just can't execute any particles, um, in the game. So, that's the only problem. So, uh, what do we do? Well, um... Now, first, the simple way to do it is um, to uh, do, keep doing uh, this method where it puts the armor stands. You can see a bit like this. Um, now, let me actually just go ahead and uh, do this and make this like a chain. Yeah, a chain. Uh, the always active command block. And then I'll actually control copy this and place it like that. Okay, and then um, put a lever so I can toggle it on and off. But I don't know if I'll need that. So basically, uh, what we can do is we can leave it on for, I, I don't know how long. You just leave it on for however long you want your trail to last, if that makes any sense. Which it probably doesn't. And now you get a giant sea lantern, unless you moved, which you probably don't. But basically, what we do is we add another chain. And then we, again, for execute me, um, and then we want to kill at E with a tag of S. With, with there is a, a C of minus one. Now, if you don't know what that will do, it will kill the farthest one away from me, which could be useful. And so if we actually go right next to it, we don't really have to actually. And we flick this on, I think anyways, my trail um, doesn't exactly, it doesn't exactly work right now, but uh, you can see that now, if I go far away, you can see that my trail is decrease or decaying or whatever we want to call it over time now that's pretty cool right now you think that this is good and well well the video is longer than this so what's it well if we actually go close to something else uh okay you can see that like other parts are decaying it gets confusing uh let me actually make like a longer trail if we actually come back over to this one you can see like other ones once these get closer, it's like decaying the others, and now, now the trail doesn't go, it's, it's really weird, like, it, it, you can see that if I, like, like, don't move, it starts deleting the more recent ones, and then it, it's really weird, I, it doesn't really make any sense, but it's just kind of how it is, um, so, yeah, so, the way to fix that is we need, it might, but this method might be a little bit laggier, so you could, you might, uh, you can use this one, but it will not work as well. But what we do, oh, it's weird to say, but what we do is we, um, we need to, um, summon a, uh, um, wait.
We need to add a new object, uh, add a new objective timer dummy. So if we do that, um, and we run that, now it added timer successfully. Now we don't need this, but what we can do is we can uh, scoreboard objectives, no, score players. Add I'm not too good at scoreboards, but anyway, we add um add a tag of s um add timer one. Now what that'll do, you can see that I did that, and then if we go, um, scoreboard objective set this by side by timer, you can see nothing's there. But, if I do this, you can see that all these numbers are going crazy, and we actually turn this off. But yeah, you can see that the numbers, um, so that, I think this one has a score of 1, 2, 3, oh wait, oh yeah, no, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then on and on until we go to, like 71 or 70, 71, 72. I think that's how that works. Um, but anyway, so I'm pretty sure that's right. Uh, now you might think, why do we need this? Because even if we do that, it's not gonna get rid of him. Well, we just kill um, at E with um, a score underscore uh, timer timer underscore min uh, min <clears throat> equals now this is your stuff now I want to make the my trial I guess 30 things long or or if you wanted to have a time you could do 21 second long one and a half seconds long uh, so 20 t 20 is one second 20 ticks is one second uh, but yeah so we just do that and there we go. Now we don't actually. This is actually um a good thing. We don't have to go like scoreboard players a set at a time in thirty timer to zero. We don't have to do that because. And I just realized I had a fence gate in my inventory, but I don't know how I did that. But anyway, because uh, since the arm stands are gone, they can no longer have, have a score. Well, that looks nice. Sun is setting with the cloud. Anyway, uh, so yeah. So that's pretty much it. Now, let's actually turn this thing on. So let's predict what will happen. We'll put an armor stand relative to me, and then we'll give it a sea lantern on its head. We add any of the, um, the armor stands timer one, and then we kill if they get 30. So what will happen? Look, look, they're going away. And if we actually stand here or whatever, and we go right into them, it still works just fine. And there's really nothing wrong. Now let's actually go uh, set the like sidebar. You can see that the um, entities are kind of going crazy here. They're like, yeah, they only get to like 29, barely 30 on there. It's kind of interesting. But anyway, you can see that it only works with flying around and they'll decay correctly and go right next to them. And there's really nothing wrong with this version of uh, version or whatever with it of this uh so it's pretty cool um and uh, you can increase it so i actually made this like a a a, a six so you can see the trail is not long like you have to go pretty fast in order to make it very long like i i can't even make it as long as i was with like going slow before anyway um so and if we actually make this like oh i don't know six for something you can see that now it's a pretty long trail and they'll stay around for a while so you can choose that number the bigger it is the longer the trail will last and if you make it something like a billion then your timer i mean your um your uh trail will basically stay around for a billion ticks and for a long time um, and one take is a twentieth of a second, and that's how fast these are being summoned and everything like that. So it's really neat. Now, um, you could make like a snake game out of this or something. If you don't know what that is, it's just like a game where you eat. It's actually very simple. Sometimes it can be done in multiplayer. Sometimes it's not. Uh, but basically, if you hit a snake, whether it's your own or someone else's, you die. Um, and you eat fruits, uh, kind of like and fruits or something like that it's they're different in each game and each kind of game uh and then what you do is kind of funny there it's like an arch but anyway and then your tail gets longer so i could like uh change out this command block from 60 to go like uh 65 and then now the sum it takes uh, even longer for them to go but it's kind of hard to notice but if you have a lot of those 
uh, things there, then it's gonna happen. If you do zero, then you never see one. Well, I mean, I guess you see an arm stand, but you don't see the sea lantern. Now, one thing is if you do this, you can hear a weird noise. And if I make it a bigger number, so like if I make it, again, 30, then you can see. Yeah, it's a weird noise there. You can probably hear it. probably hear that that bad sound or a kind of disturbing sound now the way to fix that is to well basically just i don't know how to do this but you can just summon an armor stand that's already wearing a sea lantern and you can make this whatever you want i can make it i don't know glow glow um stone or something i don't know if that's the idea it is so you can see now, even the other, the other, the other, the other. But anyway, you can see now. Now that is pretty much. It. I'm gonna turn my sounds on. Well, that's pretty much it. Um, and yeah, so uh, it's kind of it's kind of interesting what you do. Um, and it, yeah. Um, uh, yeah. Now I thought I was gonna mention one more thing before I left, but um. Yeah, maybe I could, like, find it. Alright, you can summon the armor stand with the sea lantern or glowstone on its head or when it gets summoned in. That way you won't hear that gear equip noise. If I actually, I can know the sound, what it's titled if I go to chat settings. No, not chat settings. Music and sound, show table titles on. You can see it says gear equipped a whole ton. Uh, so I know that's what that means. But, yeah. If you did enjoy the video, um, apparently it's pretty laggy. Now, before the video ends, I just kind of want to make it, um, to follow an entity rather than me, uh, the player. So, let's make it follow, well, actually, let me set it back to, um, uh, a sea lantern. But, I want to follow a guardian. Now, that's actually very simple. We just execute at E, type equals G. Guardian. I don't know if that's guardian. Probably isn't, but if it is, then it'll work. And if it's not, then it's not gonna work. Um, and I actually think that's all that we need to execute. So you just need to change that. So whatever uh, this selector is is what is going to have the trail behind it. But anyway, um, uh, so uh, yeah. So all we gotta do is we've turned this on. Now they're all sea lanterns, and since there's no guardian, it's not going to do anything, but if I get a, a guardian, it might not work, because I might spell it wrong, well, okay, that's another, okay, so I think I spelled it wrong, okay, what, I, I had it, oh, it's G-U-A, okay, so there we go, now you can see, there we go, now the guardians have the sea lanterns, it looks really neat, because, like, they're bouncing around, uh, and it's pretty cool. Yeah, it, it is. But you can see that, um, right now if we turn it off, uh, the trails of the guardians, they're still kind of left behind. There's not really much we can do. We could take the sea lantern out if we want. So I'm actually going to summon them, uh, it with a marker. But actually that's not going to work. That'll make it, like, be, like, dark or something. So I'm not going to make a marker. So yeah, you can get infinite sea lanterns like this, but whatever. Um, it's not perfect, like, uh, obviously you don't have to y make the trail armor stands with stuff on their heads, that could be a trail of sheep, I don't know, whatever you want. Um, I didn't really have a good idea, but that, that probably wouldn't do sheep, but anyway, if I actually, one thing I kind of think might be interesting is if I do like a Minecraft, uh, slime, sometimes, mm, slime, someone tells me this might get glitchy, and apparently that didn't work. Uh, oh, right, it's not on right now. Okay, so, eh, slime is a little bit glitchy, but it's, it's actually pretty cool. Oh, my, uh, animals through the slime. Weird. Uh, but anyway, you can see that the, um, those little, the, uh, little trails here, for some reason, they seem to be making more. I don't know. Uh, but they're being left behind, so you can just make these, uh, repeat ones. Uh, apparently, um, it's glitchy, so you have to go needs redstone and always active. All these actors. But anyway, you can see that now, yeah, all the trails uh, go away. Um, I just kill all slimes here, so that's what that is. I guess I could just go game rule, uh, do, uh, uh, 
Guillermo will do a mob spawning faults and break this. But anyway, so you can see that these are now repeating ones, and um, you can see that they are now leaving slime. Now you'll see why I made it slime in a bit, but um, um, you can see that uh, they do decay. So it's fully multiplayer compatible. You can see like uh, these are like using, and they're like two entities and they all work it's not like only one gets a trail and we turn this off they still slowly decay the uh the slime now you might not need these if you're never going to turn it off but other than that you probably might uh, want to have those being repeat instead of chain but yeah um and for that reason if it's always active you have to go like needs redstone and then back to always active otherwise i like don't update and i think it's needs redstone but it's not i don't know but um yeah, so, um, the, um, so the one thing I'm actually gonna do is I actually think slimes I don't wanna do because they're, I've seen no enough of slimes. So let me actually do, like, a back to, I guess, a glowstone. Or actually, I think I could do Minecraft magma. Uh, magma, that seems interesting. So now they're leaving magma trails and apparently giving off light because of my Optifine settings. My dynamic lights are on fancy. But anyway, if I actually, um, replace these with. I think it's magma underscore slime. I'm not exactly sure what their entity name is, but I think it's uh, a little bit weird. I think it's mag magma underscore slime. I might be wrong about that. Maybe it's one word. I don't know exactly. But if I do that, you can see now the guardians aren't doing it. But if I get a, um, a magma cube, uh, which is magma cube, uh, which is the name in the the creative bin. You know, let me actually set the time to like day or something. And then that, okay, that, that is not the entity ID. What is it? So, hang on, I'm gonna get it figured out. Oh, okay, so it is Magma Cube. I guess maybe, like, I was thinking the old entity ID is before 1.11 or something. But, yeah, so it's Magma Cube. Um, so Magma Cube. Uh, and there we go. Now, it doesn't work. Oh, now, uh, the Magma Cubes, uh, they, they leave a, a Magma Block trail which is actually really good now i don't exactly like this you, you can leave like the magma block in front of the the uh, slime itself so i'm gonna try and get or it's not slime but uh, of the um thing so i'm gonna get a bigger one now that i think i'll like yeah that that looks good now if we could actually it'd be nice if we can like get a bigger one we can actually punch it around and you can see uh, all the trails, uh, what the, oh, yeah, it makes smaller ones, if you know how magma cubes work in Minecraft, but, um, let me actually, oh, that's a big one, I definitely, I'm doing that, and then, oh, look at that, it gives, it leaves a trail of magma blocks, how cool is that, now, this could be, like, a, something vanilla game, if they want to add it, um, and then I actually feel like I want to increase this 30 to, like, um, a 100 that could be actually dangerous for my computer but i don't know i feel like i really want like a, a big trail and it will get laggy because there will be about 100 entities around here and if you don't go back and forth it should look okay and if you bounce more if i actually attack you or something you can see that now yeah it's pretty cool of uh, what it does you can s the magma trail is getting laggy when 100 though so let me set that to like 6d or something but it's cool what you can do with uh these um things you can summon more okay that might that's probably bad for my computer but you can see it works although the frames will drop so make sure if you want to put up uh, more slimes or magma cubes or whatever entity make sure uh you have a strong computer or it will not work well but yeah you can see these are all bridges in them but my frames are down to like 15 i'm sure you guys don't really like that because that's pretty laggy and you don't like laggy videos and also the slimes are like really slow when they do it and it kind of like spread up there anyway that's pretty much it um i think um yeah i don't think there's much else to say it's pretty cool though you don't have to execute it off the player you could though maybe you didn't like the footstep particle or something i don't i don't know so like you didn't like the footstep particle but you would just want a little change to it now you can so it's pretty cool um and yeah now i'm just going to kill at e type uh, type equals a magma cube there we go because i don't want these anymore they're lagging well because they're not really lagging too much but the reason i'm doing this without killing them with swords is because well they kind of respawn 
as like more signs. Anyway, that's it. If you did enjoy the video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more videos. Whether they're like this or not, probably not, because that says that I already did a video on this. Why would I do it again unless this had like a, a something obvious thing that like can make it a hundred billion times simpler? I don't know. But that's it. If you did enjoy the video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more videos. I'll see you in my next one. Hope you enjoy.